Hey guys, my name is Ismos, and today I want to introduce you to version 2 of Textures folder, which is an add-on that lets you manage your textures and create shaders very easily by just importing your folders very quickly. Uh, let me just show you uh, the update and uh, the new functionality that we have added uh, to the add-on. So first of all, you will notice that uh, the interface has changed a bit and uh, we have a new search feature uh, which will allow you or let you search your textures very very easily so previously we didn't have this function and uh, you would have to first load in the textures for example uh, say I have if I go to my desktop you can see I have these images uh, let's say they are textures and I wanted to use them all you have to do is just link uh, that folder it's already linked uh, but uh, you can see that uh, it's now the active library and I can see a list of different uh, folders or libraries uh, that have already linked in so if I want to use the images on my desktop I just select that uh, library and you can see it will list all the images uh, for me and now if I have a shader or if I have a material like this an object like this I can create a new material and uh, that will contain uh, the that will have the image that I've selected uh, let me select something more interesting something like this and uh, you can see I'm just getting some thumbnails I've used previously uh, but uh, yeah, you can just use any image texture and uh, apply it very easily uh, so that uh, in previous iteration of the add-on you just have to you would have you only limited to the active library and now if you use the search feature you can search through your entire library of folders that you have already linked in here so for example if I want to search for maybe a concrete material or a concrete image texture that I have I can just search for concrete concrete hit search uh, you can see I have zero I'm finding zero textures because right now I'm limited to the active library but if you use the all feature and search again you can see I get some new concrete textures and you can see those are the concrete textures that I have in my library so I can get something like this uh, create PBR shader or create a new material like that and now I have a material uh, let me get a Suzanne head because I think this will demonstrate uh, this feature much better so let me create a new PBR material and you can see we have a concrete material and I say I want to mix this with uh, this texture here I can also just instead of creating a new PBR material I can just import as an image node uh, like this so uh, when you use the create PBR shader it just tries to and you have a single image that is not PBR based you just try to fake it and I uh, just uh, uh, feed the the best color the color into the best color and the roughness and uh, maybe if you want you can uh, connect that to the normal as well but uh, if you have uh, an act actual PBR materials and uh, which you can search, search easily by just clicking on the load as PBR folders like that search again uh, right now I don't have any uh, PBR images or PBR textures uh, that are connected to concrete that are concrete uh, so let me search for something like wood I can see I get 14 found and you can see these are PBR materials I can select this wooden pattern create a PBR shader and you can see it will set up uh, the shaders for me uh, with the texture coordinate mapping in just a single click uh, the other feature that I've set up today is uh, I, you have the option to change the projection mapping this was a feature that uh, was available in the uh, previous iterations but uh, I've improved it as uh, so that instead of just uh, switching all the images you have to the UV projection it will just switch the one you have selected so you can see you even have now the the option to change the projection so usually if you don't have UV maps you want to if you don't have the object UV unwrapped you want to use a uh, box projection so you can change the projection from a uh, flat uh, to box for the for only the selected uh, node uh, like you see this is the one that has changed uh, but uh, if I wanted to change all of them I just have to select them and then I can change these uh, to box and now you see that uh, they will all use box projection uh, but uh, when you're using box projection you want the texture coordinates to use or to be object uh, so for that you just have to change these uh, from UV uh, to object uh, like that and that will also take effect uh, as that yeah so some of those are some of the features and maybe let me just show you demonstrate the search feature again so if I say let me see what other uh, have some fabrics I can even just type in fab and I should get the materials for you so I can grab this and uh, because this is a PBR material as well it will be able to apply it as a PBR material if I turn off the loaders PBR and search again I will get uh, right now I have zero zero results because I don't have anything any texture called fab but I can say let me say wood I get 
you can see now I get some wood material. Uh, these are mostly, these are not non PBR because I don't have any PBR materials. I, I don't have the uh, PBR option set. Uh, so I can select this, create a PBR folder and you can see it's just a single image because it's not a PBR material. Yeah, so this is this update is available now on Blender Market if you want to get it. And uh, I'll, uh, as you know, I'll, I'll be, I'll try to continue updating the uh, the uh, my add-ons constantly. So if you are, if you have any suggestions on what features, new features you want to see, uh, you can let me know. But for now, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.